We've got another delay, folks. It's in the title of this video. You may have actually seen my short. I've been doing the shorts. Let me know what you think about those because they're they're a good time. They're they're short. They're sweet, and I'm really liking them. Um, I, I don't know. I'm going to keep doing them. But this delay is about Battlefield. Battlefield 2042. I have in my notes is rumored to be delayed. However, it is now confirmed. Battlefield 2042 is delayed. Let's get into it. This comes to us, the rumor came to us from Tom Henderson on Twitter, but EA has officially announced that it's gotten pushed. Um, the day is, it's October 22nd was the original day. It's been delayed to November 19th. That's the day that it's coming out for now. Um, I'm not sure what this uh, extra time will do. Um, it's a little bit of time, so... I don't. I mean, what are they going to be doing in these like three weeks or whatever? I, I don't know. But this, what you're seeing on the screen, came from uh, Battlefield up on Twitter. Here it said we've made the decision to shift the launch of Battlefield 2042. The game will now be released worldwide on November 19th, 2021. And then they talk about how it's you know COVID's affected them and the scale and everything. Um, but at the end, they say. Updates on the open beta will be coming later this month. And if you guys have been on the channel, you guys know that um, I'm super hyped about this game. I cannot wait for it to come out. And I'm really excited about the open beta because it's going to give people a chance to get the flavor of what Battlefield is compared to a Call of Duty or a Warzone, right? That's the hype right now. And I really hope people jump on the train of Battlefield and I hope it delivers because um, it looks awesome from what I'm seeing. Uh, here's a little screenshot from the world of 2042. I mean, that's really cool right there, that scale. And then you got this picture, because if you guys don't know Battlefield, you get tanks, you get boats, you get jets, you get everything. You get destruction, you can actually blow up buildings and everything. It's not the typical Call of Duty running around open doors, right? It's uh, the full-scale war is what they try to go after. And... You guys know where I stand on delays. If it's to make the game better and the game's not ready, do not drop the game, right? Uh, let it let it cook. Take your time. And again, I'm a greedy consumer, so I want it as soon as possible, and I want it to be ready and 100%. But this, this world we're living in is so different now, and it's hard to uh, make these games remotely. I can't imagine how hard it is. Um... And Aaron Down says, are they sure this isn't set in 2022? Well, I, I didn't know if it... The rumors were like, hey, it could be several weeks. It could be 2022. So I didn't know if it was going to be released in 2022. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I really hope that if they're going to push it this many you know, days, it's not that long, they have to be pretty confident and ready. I, I really don't want to see another push, if I'm being honest. But... We'll see. And uh, another tidbit to throw out there is it does say that they're going to talk about the open beta later. In the rumors today, they were saying that the beta was not going to be affected and it was still uh, planned to drop September 22nd. We'll see if they stick to that. Um, again, I hope they do, but I'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop on that. And uh, I hope you're enjoying my shorts, like you said. We'll, those just give me things to do during the day to keep you up to date, and uh, it's really easy. So that's it. 